Hey guys, Gary here from RV Living Life. Today we're going to talk about this. People ask us, why so many batteries? Why two inverters? What's going on here? You only have two panels on the roof and you have all this. Why? Why? What are you doing? Well, let me just say that we designed this system for living in a 30 amp park as if it's 50 amps. We didn't design it for boondocking. We only have 850 watts on the roof, which is good, but you know, to, to charge a system like this every day, you'd need 2,000 watts of solar on the roof and that. That's not our intention. Our intention here is to live in a 30 amp park as if you're 50 amps. What I mean by that is, with a system like this, you can adjust how much power you'll take from the pole, from shore power. So if you're in a 30 amp park, you can only take 30 amps. So you may have an AC going or two or whatever, and you turn on the microwave and boom, everything's out. You gotta go outside, reset the breaker, go back in rethink all the things that you're using for power and try to stay below that 30 amp limit or you're going to blow the breaker again with this system here you can just adjust how much you take from the pole you say we're only going to take 30 and that's all the system will take from the pole if you start drawing 40 amps 50 amps 60 amps what happens is the inverters kick in and they start taking power from the batteries and they take it from the batteries and they bring it back into in line with the power coming from shore so you'll have say 30 amps coming from shore and 10, 20 or 30 amps coming from your batteries all meeting and fulfilling your power needs inside the coach. And we can do that for hours and hours and hours with such a battery bank, you know, eight or 10 hours even. And then um, once the high draw drops, you go below 30 amps, it goes right back to charging the batteries again. So we can charge actually quite fast in a 30 amp park. Even though we have a draw going, we go below 30 amps, these batteries start charging pretty rapidly. And uh, it works really well. And the biggest reason is we're Thousand Trails members. You know, we bought the Adventure Pass. We used to have the Ultimate Odyssey. We even went up to the Adventure Pass after that. So we're gonna be using our Thousand Trails memberships. And if you are a member of Thousand Trails, you probably already realize that a lot of parks are only 30 amps. Some are half 50, but a lot of them don't have 50 at all. So for us, we can live just like 50 amps in a 30 amp park. It works great. So that's why so much. And of course, we're going to quartzite. So the solar panels on the roof will help us out and everything. But our original intention, again, is to live in a 30 amp park, just like we're 50 amps. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Oh, and uh, please like and subscribe and ring that little bell. I'd really appreciate it. It helps us out a lot. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.